flesh. Like you have any choice. Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. The thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. And don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. Oh, Shrock! I forgot to fill Ranger's feeding bowl before I left. He's gonna be cranky if I don't get back. I'm coming, Ranger! My first drill instructor told me, trust in your training, not your armor. Even a finely wrought plate can buckle under a hard enough blow, but a skilled warrior can evade that blow so it never lands in the first place. This armor is intended to be ceremonial, yet it seems sturdy enough. As it should be. Gondor has little need for ceremony of late. Not every author seeks to inspire, some seek to instruct. So it is with Contrivances of Carpentry by Pelwyn of Lossenach. I spent many an hour tracing the wondrous diagrams within this tome. Instructions for building everything from hobby horses to windmills to catapults. As a lad, I was always fascinated by woodwork. Turning boards into furniture, a home. Talion the Craftsman. That I'd have liked to see. Ah, the fight pit. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers, see what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight, and if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done it in has what it takes, so there's a potential new recruit. 
And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight.
survived. How did you find me? Oh, it was easy. I just followed the trail of dead orcs. The Nidral. Did she escape Menacephal? We were ambushed. I lost her. Many of our brothers were captured. Some remain in hiding. Sauron's armies continue to hunt us. Nidral is resourceful, but no one survives in Mordor for long. We have a way out. I just need to find her, and whoever's left. Then we must find them all. Some of our soldiers were sighted in this encampment. Tread lightly. We must be careful. <laughs> Stop searching. Need a moment. 
You cannot delay. When you find it, will escape to the west. Have a second chance in life. I've already lived two lives. I was born somewhere near Umba. Heridrin. It is a long way from Minasithal. My order sent me to Gondor as a guarantee of peace. But the Herodrim had other enemies. I was to return, but by the time I was ten, we lost contact. I lived a good life in Minasithal. I was respected. I was happy. And then it fell. So now you commence your third life. The only life that matters is the one with Idril. But we have to find her first. And that we will. The Uruks use our soldiers as bait. Those are the lucky ones. Have you managed to free many of your brothers? Not enough. Some weeks we lose as many as we rescue. Your brothers here hope, and now I get to watch it drain from their eyes as I kill you. Yeah. 
Thank you, Ranger. I'm in your deck. Captain Baronor. Karis. Are there any others? Idril. She's alive. We were on our way to the fighting pits. We were captured. She escaped. If I know.